My name is Chidi Ansam Abinkalu. I currently chair the Governing Council of the National Human Rights Commission. Um, I also direct the Africa work of the Open Society Justice Initiative. And um, here in Nigeria, I think I'd like to invite everyone to join in caring for a more inclusive society, in building a much more inclusive, more humane, and more just society uh, underpinned by shared investments in dignity and the common worth of our shared humanity. Uh, that means we've got to address some things. First of all, we've got to eliminate violence, uh, gratuitous violence from the way we do things. It's not just the aggressive language, it is also the projection of violence on other people as a way of life. Boyfriends should stop beating girlfriends, let me try and spell it out. Husbands should stop beating up wives. Domestic violence we've got to address. And domestic terror we've also got to eliminate because a society that cannot that tolerate terror in the household cannot eliminate terrorism on the streets. One leads to the other, one feeds the other. We need a society in which we cannot and must not tolerate the oppression of people we don't like or people who are lower than us. A society that must care, protect and defend and vindicate its most vulnerable, its young people, the women in our society and the poorest in our society. Those are the people who need protection and vindication most and we've got to care to defend them the moment we don't. And how do you know we don't? There are many women who are working wounded, destroyed by people with whom they are in relationships and not able to get any remedies. Poor people are routinely kept in the criminal justice system, detained for ages without justice because they cannot bribe a police officer or they cannot rent a lawyer. And around the country, the national federal government just released a report on violence against children. 25% of young Nigerian girls will be raped before they are 25, uh, before they are 18 years old. 10% of boys will suffer sexual violence before they are 18 years old. In, around the country, over 60% of women complain that they are, they are visited with violence in intimate relationships. We've got to try and address that. That's got to stop. We've got to invest in public health, raise uh, our investments in such a way that we can increase the high levels of maternal mortality. Women die because they're having children, which is supposed to be a good thing. But above all, we've got to make sure that access to justice means just that. that people don't just get access to justice and then locked up in the justice system for no reason. A situation in which widows have to get spend 32 years to 36 years getting access to the assets that were left behind by their late husbands is unacceptable. So if we're going to have access to justice, we've got to eliminate judicial corruption, we've got to eliminate corruption in the judicial process, and we have to make sure that people don't just have access to justice, they also have timeless and timely exit, a prompt exit from the judicial system. And on that note, I would invite every one of us to please join in the run for social justice. And we'll invite everyone to please join us in demonstrating the commitment of all of us to a kinder, more inclusive, and more just country. Thank you.